What's good, everybody? How y'all doing? All right. So today we film the Q and A for everybody. It's been a minute. I posted these questions probably like in August, but we just not getting to it. So I got y'all. We got the list of questions right here. And yeah, we just gonna go crazy. Y'all can get to know me. My name's Tony. Tony Crosby the second. TC two. Whatever you want it to be. So let's get it started. Also, I gotta mention, we're almost at the numbers. 750, we're giving away five of the TC2 uh, Jumping Flying Boat Tees. The gray ones, you can see those on my like first YouTube video. I think I wore them in one of my videos. And then we got the bouncy uh, Nike tanks that we're giving away two at 1K subs. That shirt is in my last video as well. So the MLK programs, or private runs. Check those out because we're giving those away for free. All you gotta do is like all the videos and yeah, subscribe. And you get a free Nike tee or a free shirt. Gotcha. So, first question we got How are your knees not messed up? <laughs> no homo. Uh, knees. So, my knees do be tricking sometimes, but it's my fault. So, the best thing I do for my knees is I wake up every morning, do some stretches, wall sits, two minutes of wall sits every morning, every night. And then the handy dandy water. Just get the brand out there. We're not but the water, bro. Water. Lubrication, joints, tendons, knees, everything. So, yeah. And just like, listen to your body. If your knees start hurting, stop jumping. Just let them rest. Give them some time. You do what you gotta do. So, next question is what's your plyometric workout? So, I think I got some workouts up on YouTube or on TikTok. But I'm about to drop some more soon. Should probably drop a home workout, some plyo workouts, and stuff like that for you. So stay tuned for that. Next question we got: How do you learn? How did you learn your jump technique? So honestly, I think the best thing for that is just to go out and like practice. Just go out, low rim, high rim, whatever, without the ball. Just practice jumping. Practice trying to get as high as you can, get off the ground as quick as you can. And yeah, I think I explained some two foot jump tips two foot jump tips and one foot jump tips on my TikTok as well. So go check those out. I'll probably convert all those to like YouTube videos just so everybody can find them a little easier. So, all right, next question is how to increase your burden. So my simple answer is hard work and dedication. But if you want to get a little technical, uh, so stretching, drinking your water, hip and glute strength and mobility. A lot of things people don't work on. Along with ankle mobility too. And then, yeah, just get strong. My bird started freshman year in college. I think I was at like a 42. I'm at 51 now. I also lift a lot more than I did then too. So get strong, but make sure you're doing your plyos too. So you keep your fast twitch muscles and everything. Next question. Complete series of dunking for beginners. I could do that. I could drop like a little, a little series on that. Series of, yeah, 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 we could do that. Stay tuned for that one. I'll definitely favorite that and everything and get that going. Gotcha. Got how to increase your birth. You can answer that one, but I got you. So rewind it like 20 seconds in. You'll get the answer for that one. What are some things that help increase your birth? <laughs> I think a lot of these questions are gonna be the, the vertical increase. So yeah, that's the last question. How should I balance your vertical workout with like our workouts for arm slash upper body. Currently right now, I really don't do much upper body. The most I do is like rows and stuff like that. I add like a shoulder press or rows or something like that in my workouts, but I run track. If I do arms, I make it heavy. I'm already kind of heavy on 165, 170. So yeah, I don't really do arms right now. It's legs every day of the week. Uh, another one, Western bird. My bird is 51 inches right now, my max bird. Uh, standing bird, honestly, I couldn't tell you because I haven't tested that like fresh in a minute. So I'll get that recorded like on a fresh day. I'll do like a full bird thing on my guy Mick at M1 Performance, it's probably summertime. Because we are around the same build. How do we get over the hump of grabbing the rim? So honestly, I feel like dunking and less low rim sessions, sessions help with that because then you get a better feel for like dunking the ball. But also start with a tennis ball and you go from a tennis ball to a volleyball. 
you know, from a volleyball to a basketball. It's just like simple stuff like that. Help you get used to dunking and everything and like putting the ball down. And yeah, I think that's about it. I don't really know what like your strengths or weaknesses are, so I can't really tell you what to work on. I would need a little more than that, but yeah. Uh, best way to increase your vertical. <laughs> I think we can, we, we know what that is. All right, next question, next question. How much do you weigh and when did you start dunking? So, <clears throat> right now I'm probably like 163-ish. Haven't been lifting that much recently, so pretty light right now, but usually typically when I'm lifting the end season and everything, I'm 170 around there. And then when did I get my first dunk? My first dunk was at 15 years old. Probably towards the like end of my 15 going into 16, but 15 years old and it was off a lob. So, yeah, do the perfect lob and I was able to get it. Um, this was from my boy Nas. And it's, What's the most points you scored in the game? So, my freshman year it was a JV game and I think I scored 40 something points. I don't remember the exact number, but I scored 40 points. Yeah, so 40 points is the most I've had in the game so far. Just wait till after college though, you're gonna go crazy. Why are you so bouncy? Honestly, it's because I got springs in my legs. If you, you peep, peep one of my legs, I got a spring on my left leg. But don't tell nobody, keep that on the low. What are your workout routines for jumping higher? I'm gonna drop like workout videos and everything, so I'm not gonna really go into depth on that. But my like, weekly lifting routine is like four to six days of lifting and then when I'm feeling sore or not I have a short recovery day with stretching and slight stuff like that and yeah that's that's it the general version of it what age did I touch rim I feel like I probably I don't remember that honestly but if I dunked at 15 I'm gonna say I touched rim at 14 because I remember I was touching rim pretty early, but I wasn't able to dunk. So, all right, next question for you guys. Are you naturally bouncy or you work for your bounce? So this is a tricky question because yes, I feel like I'm naturally bouncy, but I wasn't naturally 50 plus, 45 plus bouncy. I don't know what my bird was in high school. We never tested it, but I was pretty bouncy. I could dunk at that age. But nothing like crazy and it wasn't consistent at all so yeah i thought i was healthy but <laughs> when i started lifting and everything and started like actually working out and training for it that's when i bounced i really came over the top and that's when i got a little bit of recognition from dunking and stuff like that got posted on jumpers world ball is life over time so i'm gonna say i worked for it definitely put in a lot of years because this is four years in of training strength training and all that and it's finally starting to pay off. So yeah, I worked for it because I wasn't getting no recognition <laughs> when I was younger. Not like big time. People knew I was a little bouncy, but nothing like this. How much do I squat? So my max squat right now is 475. So yeah, get strong. Get strong, get bouncy. Simple. How many times a week do you train plyometric jumps? How many days do you rest your legs? Okay, so it depends too also on time of the year. So track season, we probably train six days a week, five days a week, or five days when we have a meet. So six days. But I train, I usually have a jump day for every event I do. So I do high jump, long jump, triple jump. So I have three days of jump days, not including the weight room. And then weight room, we probably lift three times a week. Yeah. I was in the weight room too, so if that answers your question, three days of jump days, three days of plows in the weight room, and then a meet day. So yeah, that's during season. But like summertime when I'm training by myself, I'm usually lifting five days a week, plows every day, just depending on like the intensity and stuff on how my legs are feeling. And then, yeah, I'll be going out and hooping. Hooping's my plows when I'm on the court, because if I'm dunking a lot, I have a dunk session, and yeah, legs be dead after that. And then rest days, I try to get like two. Try to get a good two, 
but my rest days are still active days. So I'm stretching, rolling, I got the massage gun. So yeah, all that. Definitely gotta still do something so your body's active. All right, next question. Do I eat a lot? <laughs> yes. I actually like low-key eat a lot. Cause like when you training and you, you working out, dude, my body be starving. After every like track practice, after every lifting, I'm usually eating something, a lot of snacks. Not a lot, I don't be eating the healthiest all the time, but like I do eat a lot of fruit. And yeah, I don't really eat pork and stuff like that. So just chicken, fish, yeah. <laughs> Why, if, if this helps you like gauge how much I eat for like a meal. So if I go to Chick-fil-A, I'll get like a 12 cow nuggets, large fry, and yeah, some water. Or my go-to is the fruit punch with lemonade mixed with no ice. So yeah, that's like a typical average meal. Yeah, nothing too big, nothing too crazy. But yeah, lots of snacks and stuff like that. I'm not gonna show y'all because I ain't got the most healthiest snacks right now, but lots of snacks. <laughs> What's the next question? How long was you training before you got your first dunk? So my first dunk came in high school, so I wouldn't really say, I did like workouts, man. I was like every kid in high school, like you you look up workout programs, vert programs, and I was spending $10 here, $5 here to try to get that, that next big workout program that's gonna make me, you know, bouncy and stuff like that. But I didn't really work out or go to the weight room a lot in high school, because we didn't really have a weight room at my school. We did, but nobody went, the basketball players didn't go. Even when I did track, we didn't go, so. I didn't really have the best training then, but, you know, I was doing squats, calf raises, plyos and stuff like that at the time. I mean, I don't really know, like, no sophisticated plyos or nothing, so. I was training, but nothing too crazy, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Next question. Do you only do lower body and core or upper body too? If yes, do you train upper body? Uh, yeah, right now I only do lower body and core, honestly. I do like rows, a little bit of back stuff, a little bit of, like I'll bench every now and then, but nothing crazy like with upper body. I'll just throw it in there when I like my leg day work out, so. Yeah, legs every day, that's track for you though. So, yeah, after track though, when I start hooping and everything, definitely go out um, had to figure out our body schedule. Favorite NBA player. <laughs> My favorite NBA player is LeBron. LeBron is the greatest of all time, and if anybody doesn't think so, y'all can take a hike. LeBron is the best, I'm sorry. I know I'm gonna hurt some people's feelings with that one, but had to be safe. All right, next question. So, next question is, could you get a, put a workout on getting bounce? I got one up, more coming. So, I don't know if this was before or after I made that first video. So, yeah, body fat percentage. Honestly, I don't know, but I feel like it's somewhere between like six and 10, no, six and like eight, nine. Yeah, nah, I'm not a little chunky dude. <laughs> Pretty much muscle, I think at least. I'll go get all these numbers tested for y'all one day so y'all can get like a baseline of like what I have. Yeah. Next question. Favorite shoes to dunk in? By far, no question. Kobe 8s or Kobe 11s? Like easy, easy. They feel like nothing. I just feel like I'm like, I got like super good traction. I'm just locked in the shoe. But the shoe that I'm like hooping in right now is the KD 11, I believe. Black History Month, so they're cool. I just the grips are a little interesting, and the shoes like a sock, but I like them. They feel bouncy, so I mess with them. Next question: When was your first dunk? Fifteen years old. Answer that a little back, but retouch on that one. When will I see you on Dunk Kings, but I need to bring it back because I'm not gonna lie, I would get on there and show up. Like I was watching that with my dad when I was younger waiting for my time to shine. I didn't actually think I'd have the like opportunity or skills to get on there, but hard work paid off. So if they bring it back, I'm definitely applying for that. And hopefully it will like COVID and everything slows down and they'll have some dunk contests in the summer so that I can show out and everything. But I'm most definitely, I'm thinking about hosting my own dunk contest in Arizona at the facility. So if you, any of your favorite dunkers or you are interested in doing it, let me know. We're gonna figure out all the details and everything, but 
Summertime for sure. Summer 2021. Alright, so the next question is How about video about vertical jump workout at home from Philippines? Hey, well, appreciate you for watching from the Philippines. But I am planning on doing a like home jump workout soon and recording that and everything. So, Saturday, I don't know when this will be posted, but the 30th, I'll be on campus in my dorm. So, by then, I should be able to like start recording a home workout. But you know, like I said, I want everything to be quality, so I like to plan everything out. So probably plan that workout soon and then record it and everything and get that to y'all. Very, very soon, very, very soon. That's the plan. So next question, do you avoid sweets like chocolate and too much sugar for your muscles? Yes and no. So like, I love, I don't know, I used to love sweets and everything, but I don't really eat them as much anymore. And then, like, this semester coming up, too, I plan on not eating no candy or nothing. And seeing how that goes, getting some more healthy snacks. But, yeah, I pretty much avoid, like, I don't really do desserts and all that extra stuff. So, yeah. Pretty healthy dude over here. How much do I weigh? So, 170, 165 around there. Pretty sure I'm, like, around closer to 165 right now. Um, how long did it take me uh, to really get bouncy? I would definitely say about two years. Like, and yeah, my my version of bouncy, because I got some high standards for myself. I would say like two years. Like, after a year of training, I was dunking. I was cool. I like hit a windmill. I, I don't know. I was catching some speed lobs and stuff like that. I wouldn't say I really got like freaky on my dunks and stuff like that and was like really showing out dunking in game and stuff until like two years. Got more confidence, had like more of a mindset of dunking in game and then more confidence to try different dunks into stuff like that. So yeah, it definitely took some time. It's not a little two week program that, that gets you flying out of nowhere like, even a couple months. So yeah, just keep your head down and keep grinding for sure. You're gonna get bouncy. How long does it take to be able to go from touching the rim to dunking in game? Uh, yeah, I would say touching the rim to dunking in game. First, you gotta you gotta go from touching the rim to dunking, then dunking in game. But touching the dunking, I would say if you're working, might be like one or two months, depending on how you working and how like well you're touching the rim. If that makes sense, and then in game. I feel like I was able to dunk pretty young and like it wasn't super consistent so like in game sometimes I'd be like I don't know if I should dunk it lay it up so I feel like dunking in game is definitely like a mindset like you just you just gotta come down and be like alright I'm gonna dunk this if I miss it I miss it but like yeah it's just a mindset cause I used to always like I take off like a whole, and then I would turn it to a layup and everybody's like why didn't you dunk that and I'm like Bro, I don't know, like, I don't know. So yeah, you just gotta get like confident with dunking. And then yeah, you'll be dunking in game. It's a mindset thing. <laughs> next question is, or next statement, is I wanna watch you play volleyball. So I got a funny story for that. So high school, this is like before I started doing track. Cause volleyball season, men's volleyball season and track season is like the same season in high school. So the volleyball coach was like, I don't know, I was cool with him. So one day he was working out. He's like, yo, you should come try this. So I'm in the gym chilling per usual. So I'm like, all right, sure. So he has me as an outside hitter. He's like, yo, like, just try to hit a few of these balls and let me see like what happened. No homo. And then, <laughs> and then, yeah, I start hitting me. Smack it. I'm like, I'm so key, I'm low key cold at this. So yeah, I had a smooth little, I ended up doing like the whole workout. I don't know how I did that. Legs was there for like a week. Volleyball is definitely tough. But yeah, but I thought about it, but like volleyball, track, I was like, yeah, I got to go with track. So yeah, maybe, maybe one day. Put me on some volleyball tournaments or something. Tell them I'm cold and, and get me in there. And I'll try to record it. <laughs> I appreciate y'all for watching the video, watching the whole thing. You guys know a little bit about me, so more videos coming soon. We got the workouts coming, more pickup games in the summer, and 
yeah, stay tuned. Watch, subscribe to my YouTube. Like all the videos if you haven't already. Yeah, TikTok, Instagram. Catch me on all that. Appreciate y'all.